Hello everyone, it's Rage. How's it going? We're going to be going over a game, Regenerate versus Anti-Rush. Let's get this started. Alrighty. So, Dejected playing an er, yeah, Anti-Rush. She starts with Scout Up 5. Remember, starts with Scout Up 5. Both trying to take control of the board. Then Dejected plays Scout Up 2. Scout Up 2 is to create a gap between the Scouts. Just in case if he has wins of eight, he plays, or remember, plays champion up four, and dejected goes for the weakened champion game. Now, whenever you're in this scenario, guys, it's highly recommended that you move your champion back, like this. This isn't a part of the game, this is just a visual to see what you should do. Alright, so after getting your champion weakened, you should always move it back. And some possible continuation or traps that you can lead your opponent into is this. If they play scout up 5, you can then in turn move one of your scouts up 5. You're at 125 command points and you're in a good chance to strike. Now no matter what they do, your scout is going to be able to charge BC next turn. And that is great for you. So, scout takes scout. He uses Stoicism or tries to do another trick. Just ignore the scout guys. Charge BC the champion. This is typically how you beat the setup. Alrighty. Back to the original game. He plays scout of 5. Now let's see the problem here. Dejected plays scout of 5. Basically threatening both the scouts. His opponent plays scout takes scout. And Dejected plays Scout Take Scout. Now even here, it's still highly recommended that you move your champion back. And now you're going to see exactly why. So, remember, plays Scout Charge BC Scout. Sacrificing it on the champion, making it 200 HP. And now Dejected plays this brilliant tactical move. And he weakens the champion to 300 HP. And his opponent cannot do anything. So his opponent makes a random move. It's basically pointless here. He does scout up four, I think. And Dejected wins the champion. So it's clear that Dejected here in this scenario is winning. But they both play some pretty hilarious mistakes, in my opinion. And it makes the game lively and fun. Sorry, you two. But yeah, this game is just pretty funny. So... Remember, Chastis is the scout and moves his scout back. Dejected moves his scout forward, looking to trade off more scouts. We see scout takes scout. Scout takes scout, stoicism. This is the typical stuff you'll see here. And now, Dejected's going to win another scout. He's going to attack the lining of the wall. Remember, is smart and he redoes the lining of the wall, just in case. And now we get to see remember, or Dejected's next move. He decides to play Champion over one. Basically, knowing that his opponent's going to charge BC next turn, he wants to get his champions in range. And they were out of range before, so he just decided to get them in range now. So we see charge BC, then Chastis on his champion. We see him move the Foot Soldier up four, and then Chastis back. Now, remember, just decides to end his turn. It looks like he's moving his halberd forward, but he just moves it back. So he basically just ended his turn for nothing there. And Dejected kills the scout. And remember, ends his turn again. And Dejected moves his foot soldier up for him. Now, here's a scenario that I want you guys to look over. I think he should have charged BC'd here. But we're going to see what happens here. So, what he should have done is charge BC the foot soldier into the halberd and then Chastis the champion. However, he does not decide to do that. He plays champion of four. But here's some scenarios for you guys to see what would happen if Dejected played foot soldier charge BC. So this is scenario one. <laughs> so he uses charge in BC and kills the halberd. It's a little bit off screen there, I'm sorry. Can't really see it happen. But he took out the halberd. And remember, moves his scout up. And Chastis is the foot soldier. 
he moved his halberd up there. Dejected moved his halberd up there, and now he's moving his champion back as Remember moves his champion forward. And as you can see, now he gets Chastis back. This is good for multiple reasons, obviously. He can Chastis and weaken the champion. So now we see... Remember just end his turn. Dejected would use that. Then Chastis, shoot, or regenerate. Dejected use Stoicism. Remember, just kill the Halberd and use those two commands. This is one outcome. I'm going to show you two other outcomes. He gets weakened again. He uses Battle Cry right there and weakens the champion again. And this is scenario one, guys. And it's obvious that his opponent is winning. He is a foot soldier right over there. He is a champion. So that's scenario one that could happen. Let's go to scenario two. All right. Scenario two, I think, is one of the better ones. I don't know. So scenario two, here we go. His opponent does the same thing as before. He moves a halberd up. And as you will see, this is what transpires. So his opponent this time decides to charge BC the champion. Now this is still losing, believe it or not. Hilariously. And you're about to see why. Alrighty. Keep in mind, Dejected's cooldowns is two turns ahead. So we see this. Champion of four. And we kind of, you kind of just see he can't really do anything here. He really can't do anything. It's unfortunate for him. So, yeah, he's basically in big trouble here. Now, if he moved forward and used Chastis, guys, his opponent could Chastis back. And then his opponent could use Stoicism at any point in time the next turn. And then he would still be winning this game. So, yeah, this is... A losing scenario obviously so that's what happens here so that is a losing scenario now scenario three alrighty you guys probably thought of this move so he just weakened him with the halberd his opponent uses stoicism and moves forward he uses charge BC and then regenerate and this is still losing, believe it or not, guys. Alright, so what happens is... Champion weakens champion. With battle cry, I believe. Yes. So, that happens. Alrighty. Then, champion takes halberd. Halberd takes champion, and now he is left with two scouts versus a foot soldier and a halberd. And those are all the scenarios, but Dejected decides to play the one losing move here and decides to play foot or champion up four. And now I say this is losing, be well, it's not necessarily losing, but it's just not one of the winning scenarios that he could have played. So here he plays this. Champion takes. Or, Foot Soldier takes. And now, Remember moves his champion forward. Oh yeah, Foot Soldier, BC, Halberd, and then Remember moves his champion forward. And basically... Dejected's in a lot of trouble here, guys. So what he's going to do is he's going to move his halberd forward and Chastis. Remember decides here to end his turn. And Dejected plays champion back. Now here, I think he could have moved his champion forward. His opponent just used Chastis. 
I think that would have been a pretty reasonable move, but he decided to kill the foot soldier instead. So that's the move played in the game. He moves his hal or dejected moves his halberd forward, kind of gating space on the board. And now we see another fun little tactical shot here. We see halberd up to weaken the champion. And now here I think is another mistake. I think he could have just used one command here. He didn't need to use both commands. He used he could have used Chastis, then Stoicism, but he decides to use both of them at the same time for some reason, and that just allows his opponent to Chastis and wait a turn. So I think he should have played just one command here. But, you know, whatever, this is the game. <laughs> so then Dejected plays Champion of Four. And his opponent comes up with a clever solution. He plays... Scout weakens Halberd. And he, keep in mind, remember, just regenerated. Now here, I think he could have BC'd. I think he could have and he should have. I'm not entirely sure here. Yeah, he should have BC'd right there. And that would have been game over. But he did not BC there. So that was not game over. Yeah, this is just frustrating to me. Of how many good chances he had. <laughs> Alright, so he chastises the scout because he doesn't want to lose his chest. And his opponent moves his champion back because it's weakened and he just used regen. So what happens here? He chastises. And now Dejected plays a crazy move here. And I think this probably should have made him lose the game. Realistically, in any scenario, this should have lost the game. Like, this should be game over for Dejected for playing this move. Alright, so his opponent uses Regenerate and moves forward. And now, this is where things get really interesting. Alright, so Dejected plays Halberd over one and he weakens the champion. To, 400, or to 300 HP with his Halberd. And he just lets his opponent kill the champion. And his opponent actually, no offense to you, remember, but you actually fell for this. I was so surprised. If he takes the halberd, it's all over and he wins, as long as he stays out of range of the champion. He doesn't do that. He, he decides to charge BC the champion. And this is a major blunder, and you're about to see why. He used charge BC. He's weakened to uh, 300 HP. So now his opponent can just move down and use stoicism. And the problem with this is he doesn't have Chastis, he doesn't have BC, and he doesn't have Regen back, and he's weakened, and his opponent has Battle Cry. So, is Dejected actually won this game. There were many scenarios where Dejected should have won. There were a few scenarios where Remember should have won. Neither of them capitalized, and that is the game.